Hello, it's nice to see you again. How are you? Do you wash your hands today? I hope so. Before we start, we need to remember some important information about our previous class. Remember, there are two types of jobs. There are full-time jobs and part-time jobs. There are some job areas such as construction, administrative, art and design, transport, and tourism. Also, there are different types of jobs such as plumber, bus driver, call center agent, etc. Ready? Do you remember? Excellent! Remember, before we start the class, you need your notebook, your dictionary, your mobile phone, and your book. Ready? Great! Let's begin! The theme in our second lesson is da -da -da -da, applying for a job. The objective of the class is to identify the different steps to apply for a job. You will find the information and contents from page 21 to 29 of your book. You will need to look for the next vocabulary on your dictionary. These are the words strength, 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 weakness, 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 challenge, 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 diligent, diligent, diligent. Are you ready? Mm, fantastic! Let's begin. There are some steps you might follow when you apply for a job. First of all, you need to do a list of your strengths. Some strengths are responsible, punctual, good listener, fast learner, and leader. Remember, responsible punctual, good listener, fast learner, and leader. Second, you need to find a job that fits with your strengths. In order to find a job, you should look for job others. For example, let's read the next job authored. Babysitter needed. 
We need a babysitter to look after our two boys, age five, two, and seven, after school from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., from Monday to Friday. Ten, sorry, $100 a week. Call Mary on 678-34-5211. What is this Albert about? Hmm? It's about babysitting. And what do you need to be a babysitter? Hmm? You must be responsible and punctual. Let's read another job Albert. Part-time work, we are looking for breakfast and lunch time staff to work in our cafe on Saturdays. Come in 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Call Bella on 612. What type of job is described? It is a what do you think? What type of job is described? That job is a part-time job. Where do you have to work? Hmm? You have to work in a cafe. Do you like that? Do you want to work in a cafe? Hmm? That's a very important decision to make. Third, you need to create your resume. But what is a resume? Resume? A resume is a piece of paper that contains all your professional and job experience. Your resume should include the next information. Name Address, phone number, education, job experience, and certifications. What is the difference between resume and curriculum vitae? Do you know? The resume in is very short and the CV is longer. The resume contains specific information and the CV included your complete history. Great! We are almost ready to apply for a job. These are your final steps. 
Be ready for your job interview. Here you will find some tips for your first job interview. Pay attention. First, dress up properly. Second, don't be late for the interview. Third, show confidence. Fourth, be aware of your body language. Finally, show enthusiasm. Once you are ready for your job interview, you have to make sure that you know how to answer to different questions. For example, what's your name? My name is Jose. Who's this? Where do you live? I live in Xi'an, Chile. What is your mobile phone number? My mobile phone number is seventy five forty three nine four five eight six. Where did you study? I studied at Padre Tal School. Where do you work? I worked in an institute as an English teacher. Why do you like this job? Because it is interesting. Because it is amazing. Because it is challenging. Last question: What languages do you speak? I speak Spanish and English as second languages. Fantastic! This is the end of your lesson. It is time to work. Pay attention to the next instructions. If you have an iPhone, follow the next instructions. Open the Book Widgets app. Go to your app and do click on the next option as the picture. Next. Click on the next option. Finally, scan this QR code. If you have an Android, follow the next instructions. Open the link on Google Chrome. Write this code: three four T Q three. Double B in the gap. Remember, when you finish, you have to do click on submit and write your full name, email, and teacher's email. Remember, you have until Monday first to complete the activity in the app. That's all. See you soon. Remember to wash your hands. Bye bye.